Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm Ashley Elizabeth and this is my YouTube. So today I'm going to do a little 2017 hits and fails video. I, um, I never planned to do this video because I thought I don't really have such a huge makeup collection. Um, I don't get sent, I don't get sent PR so I don't buy stuff if I'm if I'm not gonna like it. But so I was gonna originally plan to do like a sort of me my best of 2017. But then I found a few things in stashed away in my collection. I thought I'm gonna throw these little these little bad boys in. So without further ado, here is my 2017 hits and fails. Okay, so first up today, I'm gonna go in with eyeshadows and. 2017 was immense for eyeshadow palettes i mean the amount that came out the prices everything was just incredible we won't mention that one anastasia beverly hills mishap that happened this year but apart from that eyeshadow palettes were incredible this year and one of the most hyped eyeshadow palettes of the year was of course the morphe jacqueline hill palette and this is my favorite favourite palette of all time. I actually used this palette to create this eye look but this is my favourite makeup palette. The, I mean mine's a bit battered. It's a bit of a mess at the moment but it's so well loved. The array of colours, I mean I've gone on in so many videos about this palette but the array of colours, the shimmers, the mattes, the pigments, the colour payoff is incredible and it was about £38, I want to say, when it got released on Beauty Bay. I think it could have been. I'll have to check it, but I'm sure it was about £38. So it was a little bit more than your regular Morphe palette, but it is worth every cent of that money. And considering I've got some palettes that are like £65, 30, 30, 38 or 28 I can't remember, whatever it was, that's, that's more than fine. With the amount of shades you go. 35 shades and they are all incredible. I've not found a colour yet that I have not liked. Then keeping in with the sort of beauty bay thing, I have to mention the Juvia's Place palettes. Now these are just two I've got. This is the Masquerade and the Saharan palette. These are some of the most gorgeous eyeshadows ever. And I think we all learn from these, learned of these from Nikki Tutorials. And choose to swatch them on a Snapchat and I'd be sat watching just like, oh my God. But they were in America. But then they got released on Beauty Bay and I got them all. So I've got the Saharan, the Masquerade and the Magic Palette. And they are absolutely gorgeous. The, again, the shimmers, the foils, the mattes. They are just all incredible. And the colours. The colours are just absolutely beautiful. Normally, I'm, I mean, I'm a, bit, a little bit picky. But with eyeshadow palettes, I don't normally like when they they're not cohesive like the colours are just thrown like the subculture palette was just to me just thrown in even though these aren't really they sort of go they all go together and it just looks beautiful okay another eyeshadow palette i'm loving this year i'm not sure if this actually came out this year but i i used it this year and i used it a lot this year and that was the anastasia beverly hills modern renaissance palette and just oh, the colours in that are just absolutely stunning the he who must not be named which was the sister to this palette unlike that this one is incredible so i don't know what happened between that one and the next one that came out but i think the only thing i don't like is the sort of velvet front it just it does get quite dirty especially getting thrown in and out my kit when i'm doing clients and stuff the colors are gorgeous they're all um pretty much all matte bar three yeah the pigmentation is incredible and as you can see i've absolutely done in these top two colours but they are like the perfect transition shades you can create so many different looks with this palette that's what I love with palettes that you can create like a full a full look or so many different looks with a palette I don't like it when you pick up a palette and there's, there's loads of gorgeous colours but there's no transition shades or there's no lid shades like it's just a bit meh. and finally on one of my fave eyeshadows of the year which I, I don't know if it counts because I only got it like for Christmas so that was what 11 days ago but it's got to be the Morphe 39A Dare to Create palette. First off, the Morphe rebranding is incredible. I mean, that old packaging was nice, like the plastic ones, but I think this is beautiful to sort of shiny shine on it. First of all, it's freaking huge. Look at the size of it to be head. It is massive. And then secondly, the colours. 
and I was a little confused when I first saw this palette because I thought this was a row of sort of bronzers or contour shades and I was a bit like I'm not a fan of that it's like little kids makeup but then I found out they're actually larger because they're what people tend to use as like your transition shades which I think quite neat but yeah the colors i'm trying to move it back so you can see it all the colors in this palette are gorgeous i mean the pigment on them i think i've said that with every palette but the pigment is just to die for and i've only used it once i think but i can't wait to play around with this more in 2018. next um it's not really an eyeshadow well it's not really an eyeshadow or anything but it's something i've been loving this year and it's a peaches and cream pigment and this one's in the shade mermaids now i've used this quite a, quite a few times on my channel and i just think it's stunning in the pot it looks white well in the pot it looks white but it has this gorgeous sort of blue reflect to it it looks absolutely stunning on the eye so while i'm on the subject of eyeshadow palettes i'm going to hit the eyeshadow palette that i didn't like this year and like i said i don't really i don't get i don't get pr so anything i buy, i have i've bought or someone's given me it as a gift one eyeshadow palette i don't know if this come out this year but the urban decay electric palette now at first i was blown away by this palette the colors just absolutely incredible you can create some lovely looks with these like neon shades but there was one time i was using this on a client and i got the patchiest eyeshadow ever imaginable and i've just never reached for it again so yeah big fail for me that one okay so moving on to foundation and i can finally say that in 2017 i found my holy grail foundation it's taken me so long and so many different foundations i've there's always been something i didn't like but i finally found my one true foundation love and that is the Too faced born this way foundation now this I'm not even lying when I say this is the best foundation ever, ever made. The coverage, incredible. The colour, it was okay. I mean, it was a bit too dark for me because I picked up porcelain thinking, but didn't bother me. I was happy with the colour. But the, the coverage, the, the finish of the foundation, um, after I powdered down my skin, I had no pores at all. And even in this area, after I powdered it down, nothing. It was smooth as smooth as a baby's arse and i was just blown away by this foundation so this is this is probably my 2018 fave as well just incredible if you've not tried it give it a go because you will not be sorry and on the subject of foundation there's been a couple this year i've just <sighs> one of the most hyped foundations of the year for me and i hated it i bought it because it was cheap. I mean, I've done this whole spiel in another video about this same foundation. If you've seen that, you should know what I'm on about. But it was cheap, so I gave it a go. Everyone raved about it. I did my research. It didn't work for me at all. And that is the Ordinary. This is the Coverage Foundation. And I don't know if you can see in the bottle how it's all separated, but just look how runny yeah i did i mean i did like this at first i used it in a few videos i recommended it to people and said yeah this foundation is really nice it's really cheap it is quite cov it quite high coverage but then one day i was wearing the foundation yeah i must start i must have had something to eat or i was talking a lot can't remember what it was but all in this area here around my mouth sort of where i've been like <laughs> eating my food or talking away it is all just sort of cracked and separated and not just a little bit it was ridiculous like it was coming off my skin it was just breaking off and i was mortified because i didn't have anything to top up top up with so i just had to sit and deal with it but yeah so since then i mean i tried it again don't get me wrong i tried the foundation again and it did the same thing the next time i powdered it primed it didn't do anything different and it did the same thing and i just thought it's not worth giving it another go two strikes and you're out but yeah so if it works for you fantastic but that foundation for me just was a big no-no another one that i wasn't really blown away by this year was the ex1 invisawear foundation now i actually bought a couple of these for my uh, makeup kit to do clients with because they were 11 pound i think they were 11 pound on look fantastic i heard adele uses it so i was like oh if adele uses it then i'm gonna use it 
no i don't know how adele uses it but this foundation is no good for me i am um, i've used it used the lighter one quite a bit on myself and it's at the point now where it just splits out the bottle like water it just it was thin runny not really high coverage i mean it's just i just weren't a big fan of this and it's got a bit of a strange smell but yeah this one was a bit of a dud for me this year unfortunately moving on to well i've only got a couple things left really oh no moving on to highlight of course now i don't really have a fail highlight this year because i've never met a highlight i do not like but i've got a couple here so i'm going to start off with liquid highlights and of course that is the iconic london highlighted Li liquid illuminators i've got the shade shine and original and these two are just incredible whether you're popping it over your makeup as an actual highlighter or i've been loving putting these on under foundation to create a sort of glowy base these are beautiful and these iconic london drops are the bomb now onto powder highlights now this was another one i only recently recently bought but i'm already obsessed with and by recent i mean like a matter of days ago like maybe four days ago i can't remember but is the sleek solstice palette i mean i didn't even buy this in 2017 but it's going in my video because i don't care i love it that much so it's the sleek solstice palette oh this highlight is incredible for the drugstore as well it is unreal i saw makeup by jack going on about this for so long and i was just i never got around to getting it i think whenever i wanted it pretty whenever i wanted it it was either out of stock and i was just like oh forget it and i don't really care i bought it a couple of days ago and i have not stopped wearing it since it is beautiful it is incredible this pigment and i think it was about 11 11 99 or something from boots so definitely worth the money for these highlighter shades and of course if you've watched any of my recent videos you'll know my go-to holy grail highlighter has got to be the ofra nikki tutorials glazed donut highlighter this is the most amazing highlighter i've ever used just look at that from like one swirl i was in the market for a white like a white based highlighter because everything i've got is yellow and some of them sometimes sort of show up quite yellow on my skin because i'm quite quite fair so i needed a white one so i was like you know what i'll just invest in it it's nikki tutorials she's the queen of the glow you know it's not gonna be bad i was shook that highlight is just the bomb i've got a mixture of sleek and over on today and i'm just blinding everyone i don't think it can be a 2017 faves video without mentioning of course tart shape tape so i i don't i think this come out the end of 2016 but i only got hold of it a couple months ago maybe like five months ago oh my god as a concealer this is absolutely incredible the coverage is amazing the color it's pale enough for my skin usually i find it really hard to find a paler concealer the coverage is there i mean this has lasted me i'm just starting now to scrape the sides i mean i did by two but i'm just starting now to scrape the sides blends perfectly i use it as an eyeshadow primer a lot of the time i used it on this look today but yeah if you've not tried tarte shape tape you are missing out because your life will be changed forever now a couple more fails i've got some brow products here again i bought these for my um my makeup kit from clients because i did hear that they were um they were really nice but i just don't don't like them and i got the nyx team and frame brow pomades now i'm just i was so disappointed in these just first of all it's incredibly dry if you're used to using anastasia beverly hills brow pomade this one is just ridiculous it's so dry i've got blonde and brunette first of all the brunette shade could be the blonde shade because the blonde one doesn't give any color whatsoever it's quite it's not really got much pigmentation to it so once you put it on if you try and go over it it'll just wipe off so i had so many fights with this before just calling it a day and just being like i give up so yet yeah, these were not the best things i mean maybe they do work maybe they just need to be sort of more wet not as dry as they are and maybe they'll work but at the 
uh, as they are. I was not a fan at all. They, they would just dry and rub off really easily. So just a bit of a, a waste if you ask me. Yeah, so I think we're all done with my little 2017 faves and fails. But um, like I said, I don't I don't really have a massive collect makeup collection. I don't get PR. I just have what I need really. I just because I haven't got the space. I don't. I've already. I'm already struggling to store my makeup as it is. So maybe once I get a bigger storage, I'll have a bigger makeup collection. Things like that. So I didn't really have like a big collection of things I hated. This. I mean, I've got a big collection of things I love, but these are just my little my little faves and fails of the year. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. So that's something a little different on my channel other than a makeup tutorial. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure and give it a little thumbs up and leave me a comment below what were your favourite products of the year? What did you um what did you absolutely love this year? What was your worst products of the year? What what was an absolute fail for you? Um, while you're down there, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the little notification bell so you don't miss an upload from me. But yeah, that's all for today. And thank you for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.